seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's up y'all, BDL here, welcome back to my channel, and we're just going to jump right in. You can see I have my foundation done, and I have my concealer, and I set it with my Benai Banana Powder, which I absolutely love, and I have my brows done also, and I just went ahead and primed my um, eyelids with my favorite primer, the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer, and I'm just going to go ahead under my under eye and place Bellini, which is an Anastasia Beverly Hills shadow. And I'm going to go in with Morocco, that beautiful orange brown. And just go ahead and put that in my transition area. And then I really, I looked at it and I thought to myself, that's a little harsh. So I went in with um, this caramel color from the NYX Love in Paris palette. And I just went in in between Bellini and Morocco just to make sure that was well blended. Now I'm going to go in with Anaconda. My Anaconda don't. Anaconda eyeshadow from the Artist Palette. Um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette. What is that on my chin? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um... Go ahead and put that on the outer corner of my eye and the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out just so there aren't any harsh lines. And then after I blend it out, I'm going to place Chic. Um, I, I really thought it's like a, I want to say like a silverish gold tone, like shimmer eyeshadow with like a hint of green. It was weird, but I thought it paired beautifully with anaconda so I went ahead and put that in the middle of my eyelid just to make it pop a little bit hence the um, name of the tutorial snake eyes I thought it was absolutely gorgeous and after I um, put that on I'm going to go ahead and reapply anaconda because I blended um, it out a little bit um, too much and when I'm done just want to make sure everything is just well blended because that is just the key to a perfect eyeshadow look make sure everything is well blended I'm going to go in with the Co Cosmetics eyeliner and onyx and line my waterline and next I am going to go in and line the, my top Oh, I'm sorry, not my top. I'm going to go ahead and put Anaconda on my um, bottom waterline. On my entire bottom waterline. And then I'm going to go in with Chic in the very middle. So it mimics uh, what's going on on my eyelid. And then I went ahead and lined my eyes with the NYX gel liner. And it's funny because I went to the store and got the Maybelline gel liner, which if you have not tried it, you should because it's freaking phenomenal. It's so creamy and it just glides. Shout out to my girl Tiana for putting me onto this. But um, yeah, I just go ahead and lined it. Nothing special. No wing or anything like that today. But I went ahead and used the, um, the Falsies Maybelline. Uh, mascara and I wanted to deepen it a little bit nothing too nothing too dark and smoky but just add a little oomph to the look you know what I mean so I went in with my Sonia um, Kashuk um, like a neutral palette I believe and it was like a dark brown like a cool brown nothing too warm and I went ahead and added my falsies after I did all of that and the, the rest of the highlight uh, the rest of the video was really um, just me adding my um, 
my bronzer, my highlight, and my blush. And not even gonna lie, Iris Bellin, I freaking love her. Like, love her. And I went to MAC and I had I've had um, the dark deep mineralized skin finish for a long time and it was just too dark for my skin who has that problem when they go to mac they are they're matched like <laughs> they're completely like wrong shade like i'm clearly i cannot use dark deep on my entire face and like i don't the the people at mac just have ma magical powers i swear because they make you believe <laughs> that something just fits you when it just does not but Iris Bellin um, uses this as a bronzer, and I'm just like, oh my god, I could use that as a bronzer too. So shout out to her if you have, if you're not hip to her, definitely check out her channel. She's freaking fabulous. And I'm gonna go ahead with the um, Jordana blush and cocoa, just to give my face a little bit of warmth. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. And for me, the best way for me to apply blush is to dab it on and then go ahead and blend it out with a different brush because I can go overboard with blush. I have done it plenty of times before and I was just thinking my makeup was just on fleek and yeah I was just looking like a freaking clown. So if you're having trouble with going overboard with your blush um, try that trick. But next I'm going to go in with um, Riviera from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I absolutely love these illuminators like <sighs> Anastasia Beverly Hills just they they really don't do any any wrong in my eyes when it comes to their products I haven't tried a product from them that I've hated yet so shout out to them next I'm going to go in with um, NYX um, soft matte lip cream in Transylvania which is just absolutely gorgeous and I really believe this lip just set my look off and I'm done it's just really simple the lashes that I have on are my um, Demi Wispies and this look is just so simple Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Stay tuned to my channel for updates and sign up for notifications for my next upload. See you later.